What's up, Buck Dini in the garage? Do you guys know what these are? They're BB lift, right? Budget lift, budget boost. Why are they called a budget lift? Because it is the cheapest way to lift your Jeep, right? Wrong. Today I'm gonna show you the real budget lift. We're gonna lift my Jeep Grand Cherokee WJ with some footballs. Here's the long and short of it. I'm gonna tell you this is a hack way of doing things. If you are sensitive to hack automotive, ugh, just find something else to watch because you ain't gonna like this one. Here's what we did. I threw these giant tires on my WJ, knowing full well they were too big for it, uh, but I didn't really care. Um, this thing's for plowing. It mostly just needs to go straight, but I did need a little bit of extra room in the front. Right now we've got not even three fingers, about two, two fingers, not even. We're making a lot of contact up there. So what do we do? What's a man to do? Well, I could have thrown these BB pucks in. Uh, we could have done a lot of things, but here's what we chose to do. What you're looking at there is a $4 Walmart football that we deflated, threaded into the spring, then inflated. Essentially what it did, look, we got more than four fingers here. So it gave a, probably about an inch of, I don't want to say lift, because it's not lifting the springs, it's just resisting the springs from collapsing. Uh, additionally, since I'm gonna put the plow on the front of this, which also causes some sag, it's also gonna help there. So is this something I would do for your daily driver that goes 60 miles on the highway every day? Hell no, <laughs> no. Uh, but a uh, totally viable way to get a little bit more rigidity out of your springs and maybe some lift if it's a trail rig or a woods rig or something like this where I just need a little lift. It's just gotta be functional. Don't have to be pretty, don't have to ride good. Just has to be functional. Without further ado, let's figure out how to do this. All right, first thing you gotta do is pop your wheel off and then remove your sway bar on a WJ. It's gonna be a 15 mil and an 18 mil. There we go. Now go ahead and jack that axle way up. All right, now support the body with a jack stand and let that axle fall a bit. All right, now take your $4 Walmart football and deflate it. Now, while you're deflating it, you wanna make sure that the hole to fill it stays on the outside. This thing's gonna fold essentially kind of in quarters. Make sure that that hole is staying on the outside there, just like that. And then when you get it as compressed as it will go, pop the needle out, it'll stay just like that. All right, now dropping the shock would make this easier, but I, on the other side, I didn't find it all that hard to just sneak this in from right about down here. And then once you get it to turn upwards, you can use a vice grip or something to kind of help you pry it up. These rubber footballs are relatively tough, so you're not going to rip through it unless you're being a real jerk about it. There we go. Boy, I'll tell you what, we're almost done. Really is that easy, eh? So find that hole again and maneuver it so it's, there we go, sitting in between two of your coils. Plug this guy in and start the compressor. You can see on this little pump there, we're uh, just shy of 40. Come down here, pull this out. Right like that. There we go, friends, close enough to 20. Good enough for government work anyway. Now all you gotta do is jack it back up. Maneuver your sway bar link back into place. Dang. Nuts all full of ice. Oh, I hate cold nuts. Don't you? I'll jack it up a little more so we can get the tire on. I wonder what Derek from Vice Grip Garage is doing today. He's probably not lifting a Jeep with footballs, I'll tell you that much. All 
Mighty Friends. That was the easiest lift I think I ever installed. Oh, assuming I didn't lose all my tools in the snar here. Man, that's a good look right there. I'll tell you what, let's get her on the ground and see how high we got it. I think that looks better. Oh yeah, that's much better. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. All right. That's all there is to it, friends. It's not pretty. And uh, sure, certainly wouldn't have been granddad approved, but in a pinch, or if you have a vehicle like this where you don't need to spend $1,200 on a lift kit, you know? Even those budget pucks, I'd rather do this because all those do is add some height to my already worn out light 20 year old springs. This gives me, it simulates better spring rate. So personally for plowing, I'm about to put a, I don't know, 800 pounds, 600 pound, 500 pound plow on the front. Uh, and it's gonna be wanting to do nothing but pull that body down into these way oversized tires. So uh, if you got a question, by all means leave a comment down there in the squawk boxes. Uh, if you want to leave me a comment, what do you think, man? What's the craziest way you ever lifted a Jeep? If you were to go and do, if you were to take an XJ, let's say, go to the junkyard, get some S10 Ranger Springs, do that in the back, and this is the front, that would be a true cheapest lift. This lift cost me under $20. It cost me under $10. The footballs are $4 a piece at Wally World. Anyway, let me comment down in the squad box. If you like the video, like the video. That's common sense. Subscribe to the channel. Maybe go check out our website, mokeywoodtoolbox.com. If you like Jeep videos, specifically WJ videos, I got a whole playlist full of them. I'm going to link it someplace because I'm pretty sure I could be wrong. I think some of you out there in viewer land might be WJers. Anyway, I got to go deal with this snow now that the Jeep's fixed. So, as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.